Australia's defense industry has marked a significant milestone with the introduction of the Blue 101 AUSB-B, a domestically produced 500-pound general-purpose aerial bomb that underscores the nation's push for sovereign sustainability. Accepted by the Royal Australian Air Force No. 81 Wing and first expended in a training sortie by No. 3 Squadron at Royal Australian Air Force Base Williamtown in 2021, this warhead represents a leap forward in both capability and self-reliance. Designed as a direct replacement for the aging Mark 82 500-pound bombs, the Blue 101 AUSB-B delivers comparable blast and fragmentation effects while incorporating advanced safety features through its polymer-bonded explosive fill. This fill reduces the risk of unintended detonation in incidents like fires or impacts, a critical improvement over the traditional composition H6 or tritonal fills used in its U.S. counterpart, the Bulu 111BB and the Mark 82. Configured as a Paveway 2 laser-guided bomb and loaded onto the F-35A Lightning II, the BLU-111 AUSB has transitioned from development to operational training, signaling its readiness to support Australia's current and future air combat platforms. The procurement of the Blue 111 is a cornerstone of Australia's guided weapons and explosive ordnance enterprise. Launched in 2021 to address global supply chain vulnerabilities and enhance sovereign munitions production. This effort, a collaboration between the Australian Department of Defence, the US government and Thales Australia, leverages two key facilities, Moala in New South Wales for explosive production and Benalla in Victoria for bomb assembly. Initial deliveries began in 2021, with the first batch accepted into service by January 17, 2022, following successful testing. A $220 million investment announced in October 2023 has since expanded these facilities, introducing new explosive mixers and filling lines to boost output, with tangible results evident by mid-2024. This expansion aligns with the 2023 Defense Strategic Review's emphasis on preparedness for regional contingencies, ensuring the RAF has a steady supply for both training and potential operations. While exact delivery numbers remain classified, the increased capacity positions Australia to meet domestic needs and explore export opportunities, a prospect highlighted by Air Force officials as a means to strengthen allied interoperability. In terms of deployments, the Blue One Lelen AUS-BB has primarily been used in training scenarios to date, with its first operational drop occurring during a 2021 F-35A sortie. This reflects Australia's current peacetime posture, as recent combat operations in the Middle East concluded before its widespread adoption. However, its stockpiling and integration into the F-35A fleet continued through 2024 with number 81 wing, demonstrate a strategic focus on readiness for high-intensity conflicts in the Indo-Pacific, particularly in response to China's military buildup. The bomb's roles are multifaceted. As a general-purpose munition, it delivers effective blast and fragmentation against a range of targets, from fortifications to vehicles, while its compatibility with Paveway 2 and JDAM guidance kits enables precision strikes in all weather conditions. Initially deployed on the F-35A, its use is set to expand to the F-A-18F Super Hornet, Hawk 127 lead-in fighter, and future platforms like the MQ-9B Sky Guardian, broadening its operational scope across the Royal Australian Air Force. Squadron leader Ryan Kell, Air 6000 Weapons Project Engineering Manager, has described it as the go-to 500-pound high-explosive warhead for both operations and exercises underscoring its versatility and centrality to Australia's air combat strategy. The Blue 111 BB builds on the success of the Blue 116 B, a low collateral damage variant that first showcased Australia's ability to produce reduced sensitivity warheads with local ingredients. Tailored from the US Blue 111 BB design, the Australian version introduces a generational shift in explosives manufacturing, prioritizing safety and reliability. 
While Australia has produced aircraft bombs for decades, the adoption of PBXN 109 and design features that mitigate detonation risks mark a significant technological advancement. This focus on safety not only enhances operational flexibility, allowing storage and deployment in diverse environments, but also aligns with modern military standards for munitions handling. Looking ahead, recent activities point to a dual-track approach. Domestically, production enhancements in 2024 have bolstered supply chains, while internationally, discussions about exporting the Blue One and Women AUS B-B to allies have gained traction. Air Force Director Combat Capability Group Captain Guy Adams has framed this as a future line of effort, suggesting Australia could serve as a second-line supplier, reinforcing relationships with partners like the United States, and potentially offsetting their reliance on stretched domestic stocks. To assess the Blue 111 AUS BB's standing, a comparison with similar competitors in the region provides valuable context. In Asia Pacific, nations like Japan, South Korea, and China produce or deploy comparable 500 pound class munitions, each with distinct characteristics. In conclusion, the Blue 111 AUS BB embodies Australia's ambition to marry technological sophistication with sovereign capability. Its procurement and delivery milestones, from initial batches in 2021 to expanded production in 2024, reflect a maturing defense industry, while its training deployments and planned platform expansions signal operational readiness. Compared to regional peers, it excels in safety and interoperability, though it lags in scale, a gap offset by its strategic alignment with allies. As Australia navigates a tense Indo-Pacific landscape, the Blue 111 AUSBB stands as both a practical tool for the RAF and a symbol of national resolve, with its potential as an exportable asset poised to further elevate its global relevance. <laughs>